how Joe, how nice was it to see that goal go in, even though there was a bit of a big dispute between you and Sean Wally? Yeah, almost probably felt more bad than I was happy because, you know, Sean, whether it was going in or not, I've watched it back and I'd probably tap it in if it if it was there again. But yeah, I just just feel bad. Feel bad for Sean, like he obviously deserves it. He he started the game, he he had a really good game, he was working dead hard and yeah, almost wanted to give it to him, but you you can't, can you? So no, I've um, I've spoke to him multiple times and apologised. Like, has he forgiven you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's um, yeah, he, he's happy as well. So yeah, just got to crack on. Uh, aside from the dispute, how important did you feel it was for you to get a goal? Because it was your first one in twenty twenty four. You hadn't scored for a while. Yeah. Is it a confidence boost? Yeah, get? definitely. Obviously, had a had a little hamstring niggle. Came back from injury, and whenever you come back from a you know, a couple of weeks out, you you always feel like you know you you're waiting for that goal again, kind of thing. So, um, yeah, I've played a few games off the bench. I've started one. I feel fit. I feel I feel ready. I felt like I was playing at a good intensity, and and that just that just helps you out. And I'm not one to, you know, be worried and panicking when I'm not scoring. But it's just it's just nice when you get it when you get on the score sheet. It you know puts you on the puts you on the highlights and stuff, and just makes you feel confident. We we're just discussing. We think you've been here around five years now. Mm. You must feel like part of the wallpaper <laughs> almost. <laughs> yeah, definitely part of the furniture. Um, loved every minute I've spent here. Um, obviously, this year probably more changes than than what what it's usually been. But um, the lads are doing really well. Um, I felt like they've not listened to a lot of the the pressure and heat that has happened this year. And and yeah, we we've just cracked on and, and we've got a really good group. So that's why I enjoy it. What's it been like for you personally this year? Take us back to Newport and all the way through the season. Uh, obviously, didn't start the season. Um, was still out from uh, snapping my Achilles, so um, was just raring to go as soon as I got back. Played 10, 90 minutes on the bounce, just batted them off straight away. Did loads of good work in the in the summer to keep me fit. Um, and then yeah, I've had a I've had a, a few weeks out, but I've I've played a lot of the games. I'm in good form. I've I think I've scored seven, set up seven um, in 25, I think it is. So good stats for, for, for me this year. And, and more importantly, I'm feeling fit. I'm feeling like I'm going out there to, you know, prove a point and do well rather than, you know, being cautious. So it's just exciting. That's what I can say. You're a different character to a, where, who you were a year ago when you were, I oh, don't go out there, I'm worried about injuries. And, mm. and now you, you, you've definitely got a very different mind set on it all. Yeah, absolutely. It was, it was hard to turn it around, obviously, a lot of injuries came quickly at, at a point, but but now I've just I've only had a I've only had a couple of niggles since since my um, since my Achilles tear. And if you can recover from an Achilles rupture that well, come back, prove a point, play 10, 90 minutes in a row at an intensity, in good form, have a couple of niggles for the rest of the season, but again playing well and affecting the team, then I, I haven't got any worries about my future. So. I guess um, you know it's, it's late on in the season now to come back, but you'll want to start the last few games, give it your all, help Accrington to valuable wins, really. Yeah, definitely. I, I appreciate every minute on the pitch. Obviously, you know when you spend a week out, let alone a, a few more that I've had, then every single minute on the training pitch, let alone on the match pitch, you you just appreciate it more. So yeah, any minutes I can get on the pitch at discretion of the manager and stuff, then I'll, I'll be grateful and, and look forward to it. How big was that win on the? It was needed, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, it, yeah, it was brilliant. Um, felt like we dominated the whole game, and when we went one down, it was a bit like, oh, this is, this is how our season's gone. We're on top, and you know we've conceded against the run of play and and stuff like that. And it felt a little bit frustrating, but I mean the the character that was shown and the the endeavour to to work as hard as we did to, you know, score three goals and play a lot better. It um it paid off in the end, so we just got to keep doing that. On stage, you were one of the younger members of this team. You're one of the elder ones now. What's it like with all these whippersnappers around you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, amazing. Um, some great quality. Um, a lot to learn for a lot of them. Obviously, they've been almost thrown in a deep end this year, which has been great for them. Um, hopefully, they learn they learn more from it and they can learn from players like myself and even more experienced lads. But um, there's a lot of quality there, um, a lot to show. So I'm excited to see what they get up to next year. And lastly, Doncaster, seven wins on the bounce. Bounce played them so many times this season yeah. already. It's going to be a tricky one. Yeah, yeah, games that I enjoyed at the start of the season. Um, a draw away, we came back. Um, I scored in our replay fixture for the um, for the FA Cup game. 
Um, so I, I, I like playing against them, they've got good players. Um, yeah, just excited to, to see them again.